Ready, set. No, I got you this time. What y'all doing out here? Get him, DJ. Get him. You want to help your big brother? Yeah. Oh, oh get him. Daddy get him. rocking with you. I'm like, ah. I don't hit daddy. You know, nine days I got my hands full, but in a good way, man. Five months ago, we had the newest addition to our family, Ashton. What's up, man? You good with Daddy? Oh, man, it's a beautiful dude. But I know that my wife loves our son, Ashton. You know, maybe this time around, we could put a nice celebration together for my little dude. And he's clearly got his daddy genetics, man, looking handsome. So it's about time for us to show him off anyway. Hey, who plate is this? Yours. Oh, no, you gotta be kidding me. This was my plate maybe five months ago. After Ashton, we need to cut this right here with a salad at and all this need to go that way. You gonna starve yourself trying to snap back? That's what you trying to do? Look, I'm a mother. And look at my body. I know. It ain't easy being this pretty. It ain't easy being a MILF. Well, how about we take these salads to the bedroom? Come on, let's do this. hotel for days now and I think it's pretty pathetic that I'm trying to sneak in my own house trying to get close with me and my kids just because Donna made an ass of me. I'm very furious that Donna is cheating on me again but what's more devastating about it is that it's more than just a one-time fling and this is the type of that can't happen especially now that we married. What you gotta get? I know Donna's at the shop right now so I'm just trying to get in and out as fast as I can. Oh wow bitch this is the Gucci sweater that Donna got you. Just leave it there. You sure? That was before I knew the real Don and not the lying ass Don. All these years before now, I have put Don first. And that's not gonna happen this time. Because finding out with the whole world that my husband has cheated publicly, this whole situation is up. Did you get everything that you need? Yeah, come on, let's go. Oh, Honestly, when I see Don, I just feel disgusted. Like, he disgusts me. Ash, we, uh, we need to talk. Talk to him. I feel like I'm being ambushed in my own house right now. Don't do this to me, Don. And, you know, I'm really not ready to face Don at this moment. But I need Don to man up and tell me what I already know. Because I know the truth, and I know that Don has been lying. You can at least have a seat. I made a mistake that could have been prevented if I just took just one second to think about, you know, what all of this was going to do to my family. Right now, I'm just going in here for Ashley to hear me out. So you've been cheating on me again? Tell me what went on with you and this girl! Ain't go on. It was a weak-ass one-night stand, and that's what it was. So you're telling me after this one time, you up, you get Handcuffs with this bitch. Shorty's lying like a motherfucker to break us up. You put it on Snapchat, Don. Wow. She already aired you out. I got everything in here, Don. The fact that Don is trying to stress that this was just a one-time booty call, when I know the truth that he has slept with this girl multiple times, and I got the text to prove it. So how the hell Don is gonna sit here in my face and tell me it was just a one-night stand? Stop telling me what you heard, what somebody told you. You're yelling at me about facts that ain't true. We're arguing about the truth that you still cannot tell! She ain't to me. Ain't gonna never be to me. So if you want the truth, that's the truth. I don't tell me that, boy! I know Cause you are a lie! You are a cheater! Not, a lie. You a cheater! You a dog! She said she been with you for over a year. That's a lie. I deserve a proof! Right now, we're not gonna be able to communicate. It's all anger right now. So no matter what I say, Ashley ain't trying to hear it. She got her mind made up at this moment. Believe what you want, think what you want. You're making this person relevant because you came in here arguing about no, that. You're I'm making her relevant by like her. Okay. And allow her to break up what me and you had, right. Don. I told you I'm sorry a hundred times. That's what you had, Don. Let's just face facts. This wasn't just a one-time The fact that this is an ongoing affair is what hurts me and the kids the most. And it's just unforgivable. All DJ know is mommy and daddy. He don't know another bitch, okay? And Ashton only four months, and he get happy when he see you, and you know that. Ash, whatever you do, 
Don't take my kids away from me. I'm not never gonna take you from your kids because you have been a good father to them, but you have been a broken husband to me. I know that. And this household, all this is up because of the mistakes that you made. We done been through a lot of in the past. I love Kaylee like she's my own daughter. Like, I endured all that in the past. Listen, all I can tell you is this. I up. I'm saying, Ashley, I have to accept the fact I can't sleep in the same house with my kids. I got to accept that I'm hurt, too. You put us in this place. Ashley, what else you want me to say to you? It really hurts to say this, but we done. Period. Against all my better judgments, I reached out to the girl that was claiming to have an affair with Don. I can't even speak her name. And before I do anything drastic with my family, I want to hear her side of the story. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, how you doing? Good. Um, you know, let's not waste no time. We both know why we're here. I want to get your side of the story. You're saying this was going on now for what? A little over a year. A little bit over a year. OK. So I'm pretty sure he told you I was pregnant and things like that. And you were still, like, having sex with him, like, knowing that I was pregnant. Yeah. OK. I was in a situation. I was vulnerable. I had a friend that I thought I could trust. And now I'm here, and I'm explaining something to his wife that he can't even be honest about. I'm pregnant by Don. I'm sorry, you what? What did you say? You had a nerve to sit here in front of my face and tell me that you carry my husband's baby? This is just a up situation. And I would need to see a paternity test to even believe that the child is dying. I hope that you're ready to be a single mom if it is dying, because Don ain't got So child support, all that type of stuff, like, good luck with that. And I don't think but... you understand it. I wasn't in this for that. I'm here because I was trying I mean... to apologize to you. Whether you accept it or not, I was wrong, and I'm apologizing for the role that I played in destroying your family. That is it. If your child is my husband's child, I would never, ever, ever accept your apology. I would never respect you as a woman, point blank, period. So this is this is not the first time. I've been pregnant by Don twice. There's the money for the abortion that he asked me to have. Oh, OK, so let me get this straight. You got pregnant by him twice, and you're showing me screenshots of money that he gave you for an abortion. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. Congratulations. You played yourself. You look like a fool, OK? okay? Trap queen. That's your yeah, new that's name. That's your hood And that's your new name. That's your it's new okay name. It's OK to be ratchet. That's your new name, slut, yeah. OK? Both of y'all up, OK? And you deserve it just like he do, OK? I don't deserve okay. from you, though, but yeah. let me it, go ahead and let you have your moment. Good, OK. You were f***ing him on three or four you, times you a week. calm down, though. We are in a bookstore, if you didn't know I was sitting on his f***ing him the same know, time while you were f***ing his too, OK? How did my yeah. taste, Ashley? I'm no, curious. bitch, how did my taste? I f***ed him in the morning before he f***ed you. Why to you? You f***ed my f***ing, OK? To know that Don have threw away his family, his marriage, and everything that we worked so hard for, for her, it hurts. But it tells me how much Don really thought we was worth. He looked like a f idiot. You're no, the I'm idiot. Me and him are separated. I'm I done. I don't give a f about you and Don. Just be classy and wipe the lipstick off your teeth. No, no. Yeah, Bitch, ahead. wipe the f off of your lips for Don. You're not intimidating me. You're like 40. But you're a little bitty ass slut yeah, bitch I'm trap queen to me. You're such a bum, sweetie. Go ahead and run back to your husband like you always do. Go take care of your baby, OK? The second baby that you are, trap go ahead and leave. leave. Take care of that. And Wait, you had two ahead. kids by a married man, OK? Go ahead and you're continue to act like a little rat. Goodbye, trap queen. What? Goodbye, trap queen. What's up? Well, don't do it. You said you there. Get the out of my face before I go to
What's up? How do you two? After all that dumb that took place with Shorty Ass, she sat down to talk to Ashley. Now Ashley's texting me about time I'll take my kids to mother Texas. This battle between the kids is about to get messy real quick. Cause if I got anything to do with it, my kids ain't going to no goddamn Texas. I don't want to be here. I want to go to Texas and I want to take the kids with me. Them my kids! My brother Rondell is in Texas. Rondell has been the closest to a support system and to a father figure to me. You're not gonna make me feel like that is logical that they need to be separated from their father who give a about it. I'm telling you why I want to go to Texas. And, and that's where my said, support is. And all you said, that's where my love is. You, that's where everything you, is right now, Don. You, you hurt me so bad. That is no love here. You okay. don't love me because you've been around with Shorty for months. And then on top of that, this woman said she pregnant by you. And if this trying to mother make you think that, she knows she's trying to with you. Don is telling me that everything that Tasha is saying is a lie. But when I met with Tasha, she told me a completely different story. I can't trust anyone. My kids belong with me. I might have hurt you, Ashley, and I'm sorry for that. I know I hurt you. I think about that day in and day out. I don't give a if I got to pay for a second house. I will go broke just to have y'all up in Chicago. And you know that. And I'm gonna keep praying each and every day that it's still me and you, Ashley. I'm gonna find a way to be a better husband. I'm gonna find a way to be a better father. Point blank, period. But you're not finna just take my kids. I got two black boys that's growing up in America right now. And I need to be in their life. Cause they gonna endure a lot of battles. There's gonna be a lot of stuff they go through. And as a man, I wanna be there with them every step of the way to have their back and lead them in the right direction. I don't care what I gotta do. I'm begging you to let my boys be in my life day in and day out as a father to be there for them. It ain't nothing I could do about it because this is what's been done to me. I'm taking the kids to Texas with me, end of story. You. <sighs> like, I did not come here to argue with you. I made my choice and that's how it has to be. Good night, Don. Man, what the f is this girl doing here, man? I see your goofy ass right there, Tasha. This shorty is obviously the worst thing that could be happening in my life right now. I think she finna walk up to me and talk to me in front of all of my friends and start some f and trying to embarrass me in front of my people? You wanna talk? We can go upstairs, man. I ain't finna do this now, man. Showing up here today, looking pregnant, like for real? Knowing me and my team was gonna be here at my bro stuff, just clearly the star scene. We don't even with you. So why are you here? But it's cool. I'm glad you're here. Cause I need everybody to see, before they leave the day, how crazy you really is. So listen up, shorty. At the end of the day is this. I already told my wife, whatever. Slept with you, all that goofy All this other that you spread, other that's what? what's pissing me off. What other be 100, G. You told my wife that I've known you and been talking to you since 2016. i only known you since July. You know I never knew you until I did your piercing, G. Really, Don? So go and lie. Lies, sweetheart? The thing is, everybody that know you, know what they associate with you? Lies. Case, the point is, you're pulling up on ass with these weak-ass receivers. You're lying instead of I paid for an abortion. Correct or not? Correct. The fact is this, I met you in July, I did your piercing, and yes, I did sleep with you and that was a mistake. But don't act like it was bigger than that. I never led you on, I never told you I wanted to be with you. I never told you we I love you, you been lying. We made that yeah, clear. Yeah, exactly. End of the day, this ain't what the I want. Think I want my kids separated? You think I want my house up? No, I don't. You try to create a consistency system between me and you that didn't exist. Tashay, let's not play this game. I think it's just the person Man, don't do it. Shorty not even working. Oh. Hey, yo, break it up. Oh, oh. What the just happened? That bitch lucky out of my pregnant bitch. She sitting there looking stupid. I'm telling her all these facts. She's like, OK, OK. You know you lying, shorty. Lying like a mom. It's crazy. I mean, I wish my people would have exercised a little bit more restraint. Don't get me wrong. 
But Tasha should have had a hell of a lot more restraint than to think you finna just show up to my people's stuff. Like, why would you even do that? The truth prevailed tonight, man. Everybody in the room could tell she was on some bullshit. Stop all the lying. Everybody know anything about Don. If it was mine, I'd take care of mine. I just hope the ain't mine. Mommy, did Yeah, daddy's coming. We waiting on him now. Today is a day that I'm leaving for a while to go stay with my brother in Texas. If Don had his way, we'll stay here in Chicago. But I just can't do it. Don has hurt me so much, I feel like I have no choice but to get away and get the support that I need to figure things out. Donald. What's wrong? What's up, man? So, I mean, you know how we're here for. So, we need to um, talk as adults and as, you know, parents to the boys. You didn't agree with me with taking both kids to Texas, but I can't stay here after all the stuff that just went on. I've given it a lot of thought, and I'm just taking Ashton to Texas. I don't want to leave DJ in Chicago, but I decided that I'm not taking both kids to Texas with me because as much as it hurt me to be away from DJ, kids need a routine. And moving him to another state in the middle of a school year, it wouldn't be right. And to be honest with you, I can't deny that Don is a good father to his child. DJ, stay here with you and we'll figure it out. Why you can't just hop up and just, you know, take kids across this country just because you're upset at me right now. Them having to be separated from each other, that's what. I need to take my time, I need okay. to take my space, so and I need to take children? my distance. Okay. And so I'm at least taking Ashton with us. Ashton is a baby, he needs his mother. DJ is a little bit older, he's still in school, so yes, I agree, he should stay with you. I think that that's fair. I know I played my own part into where, you know, my family's at right now, but Ashley's custody plan doesn't make any goddamn sense to me, period. This ain't something I'm cool with. My boys should never be separated. They brothers, they need each other, they love each other. It's enough black boys without fathers in their life. And I'm not finna add on to be one of them. I'm your kid's father. There is no getting away from me. You got me for the rest of their goddamn life. So they ain't no just let me hop up because I don't want to run into you. Honestly, I just think it's best. It's my final decision. <laughs> hey, whatever. Still don't agree. At this point, going back and forth with Ashley in front of the kids is only gonna make things worse. So I'm gonna go with it for now. This ain't what the f I'm with. I'm not agreeing to this. Me and Ashley gotta catch a flight. Donald. Come on, Donald. Come on, D man. See mommy a little bit. Let me get in the back. Come on, D. Have your contact. All right. What kind of made you all decide to come in today and talk about some things? I guess it's just kind of hard to express my feelings. It's kind of frustrated at the same time. I chose to do family counseling because me and Ashley have terrible communication. And I felt like we need a mediator to help us help each other understand each other. Actually, there's a lot of things going on with us within our family and our marriage. Um, what would you say would be the main thing that is the hardest for you? Infidelity. Honestly, I'm just glad that we're here because I am putting my foot down because I just couldn't take it no more. There's no foot to put. I'm not asking you to put your foot on nothing. It's not me in here begging. It's not me none of that. And you know that. I never said that. Okay, so don't act like there's a foot to put down. What about that statement made you upset? Well, the fact is, like, Ashley never notices her attitude. No matter what the situation is, it turns into all about you. I'm mad at Don, but I'm mad at myself too. I let Don cheat and turn me into a woman that I can't even recognize no more. 
I went so outside my boundaries that I'm postponing my trip back to Texas now just to help him out. But enough is enough, and I'm tired of playing a fool. I didn't come in this counseling to point the finger. Just like I know I got deeper issues with myself, I feel like there's deeper things with you that you don't notice that you put off on me. And I feel like beyond the cheating, that only makes it worse. And I feel like that's where some of our issues came in. At. I know you can, you can blame it strictly on what Don did, the mistakes I made in the past, but I feel like it's deeper than that. I do. I came here to put aside all the petty that we argue about. I wanted to come here and look at the deeper picture, the bigger picture, my personal deep issues, her personal deep issues. I'm not sitting here to dwell on the obvious. When he say dig deeper in yourself, Don has created this monster in no, me. That's a he lot. has made me feel like I'm not beautiful yeah. enough because he messed around with so many different women. It's Stop like, saying that it's like, because you don't, it's you like, don't, what, you keep what saying do, so many different women. There ain't been so, so many different women. What you see with me, which Stop is your wife. That. Don, I see you getting upset, but Stop like, saying it's been so many different because it hasn't. You used to me being that stepping stool to you. You used to me being that st stupid person. Stool? How do I, you hold on? Like, you have me where you want me. It's like I cheat, I f up, I mess up. I apologize, she takes me back. I feel like that's where you have me at. And I feel stupid even saying this many times cheating because I should have been gone. Stop saying have you it. forgiven him for the infidelity? Hell no, I haven't. I don't know what I was expecting out of counseling today. I really was hoping to come in here and break the machine down and figure out what part was put in place incorrectly in order to fix it. I don't know if it's all because of me, but you know, I, I love her. I don't want to see her like this. I do want to see her in a better place in order for her to heal or become, you know, the happy woman I know she is. I can understand your hurt about the things I've done. I know within myself I ain't been happy. I know within myself I've been battling a lot of demons, a lot of issues. It's like I ain't even really had time to get myself right. And now I'm hurting the person I could more than anybody else. I can take the responsibility for every choice I've made that's made us worse. But I think in order for her to like, love me, I just think I just really want to be solid within me. I need time to myself to figure things out. Well, that's the only way I feel like we're going to love each other again, the right way. After this session, I feel like right now, we still not missing in a place where we can just sit and talk comfortably without anger. And it's probably best that we keep a little space. You know, there's some things I need to fix within myself. And if there's ever going to be a chance of us come back together, like it's definitely going to have to be some deep soul searching between the two of us. Oh, Daddy, you ate, you ate candy. I did eat some candy. I'm sorry, but you've been eating snacks all day. You don't need no more sweets. You gotta go to bed. You got school tomorrow. No more candy. I can't eat no more candy. You know, being a father is not easy when you're doing it by yourself. Like. I respect all the single parents out there. This is not easy when you have to balance, you know, your hustle and your free time along with your parenting time. Because that kid at that moment needs all of your love. That kid at that moment needs all of your attention. Got to get you up in the morning, we got to eat some breakfast, take you to school. But I had to realize, like, you know, I haven't always been the person I am now. I had to grow. But also that growth was a part of having the most beautiful children in the world. And you know, they have allowed me to realize when I'm going too far. You miss mommy? Mm. I know. I know you miss her. She... <laughs> She'll be home in a little bit now. What's wrong? That's right. It's Mama's Day. It's called Mommy. Mommy! Hey, Donald. I miss you so much. Mm. Ah. That's brother. Brother's sleep. Hey, mommy. Baby brother's sleep. Uh, Peekaboo. <laughs> I miss you so much. I can't wait till I see you. Bye, Fifi. Bye, uh, Fifi. Okay, well, tell mommy goodnight real fast. Good night. Uh, tell I love you. Yeah. Tell Ashton, love you. Ashton, love you. I 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 do love my family, you know what I mean? But right now, I'm just focusing on being the best me I can be.
Would you guys will go to bed? Yeah. Don't worry, we can go see your son, okay? Mommy will be home. Don't worry about it. Okay? <laughs> Looking good though in that little room you got that bro. Oh, this swimsuit. The one you flipped over my suitcase on. Cause I said I was gonna put on some blood cute clothes for, you know, Jamaica. I was upset because I wanted her to put on a lot of clothes. And we both wasn't feeling it. Forget what happened last night. You know, it's a new day. Me and Ashley got an opportunity to look at Paradise, and I'm trying to enjoy that with my friend. Oh, I know you ain't talking. Very You came into a uh, beach house and beat my ass for not having a shirt on. No! I got a shirt! Get a shirt! I don't come in here with you and bitches, and you don't have a shirt on! Okay. You forget that? Oh, it's your turn. It's your turn. Okay. Don was a little crazy last night after we arrived. He's not a good traveler, and when he's cranky, he like to take it out on me. He got upset over what I wanted to wear. Really, Don? Yeah, I agree. It's cold. Wow, man, I'm bad. Try to warm it up. I mean, I appreciate you. You put a lotion on me, but I mean. It's a little ashy. Your back, I got you. Oh, watch your hands. It's a little ashy back. Wash your hands. You was in the pool? No. Stay above the waist. Okay, I'm over. I ain't gonna lie, man. Now, this is paradise. Who that? Put them lotion on them thighs, paradise for a boy like me, boy. Hmm. I appreciate all this, but let's not get here in Jamaica and act like we don't know what's up. Me and you really ain't been seeing eye to eye. I'm just saying right now, I'm asking to be your friend again. I'm not asking for much more than to rock out. And if rocking out leads to something later down the line, cool. Honestly, I think that's that's best for us right now, you know, is to become friends again. Because we are still married with two beautiful boys. If we not friends, we not rocking out, we not cool, it makes it worse on us to be co-parents for our kids. So I'm cool with being friends. All right. You feeling some lunch? <laughs> no. Nah. Right, you sure? <laughs> Weather nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, I'm glad you, you know to come over with me now. You know, I did, you know, set a few things up for you. you know. Thank you. I don't know what kind of flowers they is, but they look tropical. Always. <laughs> Since we're in a nice. tropical place. The trip has damn near been a disaster since we got here. Fights, my brother show being canceled. It's been some bullshit. But one thing about Don, he's always gonna stay determined. I'm not gonna let that deter me from my mission, and I need to remind my wife that our friendship means the world to me. No butter bread, cheese and bun. That's how when we want, we no want none. No butter bread, cheese and bun. Don got me here in Jamaica smiling like a little schoolgirl. Don and I have been dealing with a lot. And I'm just gonna enjoy this little time of peace between us, and I hope it stays that way. Oh, this is nice. It's <laughs> feel good to be pepper. It's been <laughs> forever. I got sand in between my toes, literally. <laughs> <laughs> And the water is this clean is and water is crazy. Let's do a little bit of water time. I don't know how to swim. I know you don't know how to swim. I just want to sit here and just enjoy it. Come on, get us water. Let me know if it's cold or not, okay? Let me know. <laughs> 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 <What's that>? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a little kid. I like you say. What? You know, player keep a couple of tricks on his sleeve, all right? You know. Um, you want um, some champagne? Yes, why not? It's just nice. The fact that, you know, you thought long and hard enough and romantic enough to even bring me here to this beach to get away from all the Nine Mag and Loyal Ink drama. I mean, definitely already had it on my mind um, about trying to, you know, i try to do something decent for you. The only thing is, like, let's not pretend what the, the bigger issue is with us. I can't act as if, like, me and you are not separated because of the fact that, you know, you made the Snapchat video with another woman, and on top of that, this woman is claiming to be pregnant by you. Now, I'm here, and I'm explaining something to his wife that he can't even be honest about. I'm pregnant by Don. Look, okay. she's not even pregnant. What you mean 
she not pregnant? I mean, look, I, I don't know the details for real. All I know is she ain't pregnant. This shit is f***ed up. Snapchat was willing to f*** up everything I have just to tell these lies, just to try to gain a goddamn opportunity that's never going to be yours. And even if she was pregnant, I know it wasn't mine. You know, I mean, it is what it is. All we could do is just move forward from that. Move forward past it. End of the day, all I do want to do is get to know my friend again. Moving back to Chicago, co-parenting with Don, it's taking time to get adjusted to the way things are. But f all that. Don got the kids tonight. I'm about to turn up for ladies' night at the strip club. any naked male parts in a long time. And it got me thinking about what I've been missing. Woo, child. You in that <laughs> Texas bitch? I'm back. And we all single. I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm, you know, really ain't no title on it, but me and Don is doing better. We are doing a counseling thing. We're co-parenting. We're in two different households. Yes, because I love you, so you know I want y'all to fix it. You know, we're gonna try. He been doing pretty good since the whole incident. Don definitely got a long ass way to go to earn my trust back. I mean, he's been on his best behavior, and I give him that, but we not there yet. And I'm definitely ain't about to give up this nutty. Mm -mm -mm. Look, I'm okay. I'm good to go for tonight. Girl. Yes. All right, we got something real special for the ladies tonight. Uh -oh. This is the last of the last with the grand finale. I'm gonna go and bring out my boy Inferno. I'll let you make some noise. Get some singles. Inferno, come on with it. Let's get it. You know, I used to have the moves back in college. Had to shake it for a loose change. She is not gonna be resist Mr. Inferno, okay? Yeah. stripper back in his college days. But baby, I might have to get Van back in the gym. Good, y'all. A little heavier than what I used to be, man. I stripped in basements, living rooms. Should have tested the integrity of the materials around here, man. I should have did like a little spot check. Dang, what made you? Look, come on here for you. Dance for your ass. I love you so much. I just want oh you to know that I dance for you. You are so good. <laughs> oh, like okay. If this was to turn me on, it didn't work. But I do like that he's trying. And maybe I should give him some out of pity. I'm out of here. We out of here. Let's go before uh, you got the pity. Let's go. I'm going to take advantage of this nice location. And I'm putting together a whole romantic ceremony fashion. Um, I kind of want to say a recommitment to what we doing type of ceremony. Thanks to Ford and Nikki and Party City, of course, we're going to, you know, kind of set the mood. Ah, uh, damn, you got the flowers, okay. Uh, and these pigs, man, all of them, man. Huh? You know, this is the very first picture me and her took together, G. Hey, you got some bug spray? Nah, I'm feeling like these motherfuckers and lights bro. and candles and Bro, these bugs getting the out of order, man. I'm just gonna start lighting these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers bite, that's why I got the hoodie on. I've been trying to do everything I can since Ash has been home. 
I'm just trying to make sure that we reconnect. I'm trying to lock in. These bugs are serious. Damn, son. The only thing that's up is all these goddamn bugs and man. Let's try to get this spider out of there. Get away. Get away. Get away. Um, Ashley, can you go to the bathroom with me? Here's how it's gonna go. Four's gonna hit up Nikki. Nikki's gonna pretend like she gotta take Ashley to the bathroom with her. And she really gonna be bringing her to me. Uh, I hate going to the bathroom at this time and I all these um, bugs. Girl, where you going? Um, I found a better bathroom this way. Oh, I used hell earlier. Yeah. Come the bathroom on! This way. What is we doing? They go to the bathroom over there or closer. Where? I'm scared, Nikki. What type of bathroom is this? Come on, girl, walk down the path. Oh, what the f is going on? We at the bathroom, girl. Good job, babe. No problem, baby. I told you each and every moment I get to do something special, I'm trying to take advantage of it. And ultimately, I would love for me and you to be back to a, a place where we were and better. You know, I just want my wife on my side. You know, I appreciate all this, but it's just still gonna take a lot more. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna take some more time. It's gonna just take some more trust. You know what I'm saying? And not that I don't love you, but it's gonna even take more love. It can't just be on me. Yeah, I if get it, it. If it's about trying, it gotta come from you too. You know, I've been trying to be a great husband. I've been stripped for them. I done brought on all the trips with me and my friends. All I'm asking for is to appreciate my effort. That's all I want to see that she doing. Times in the past, I jumped right back in your arms after you done me wrong. I had to so take a step back. Where am I forcing So that you can. I'm saying I'm forcing you. Look, he not. I'm you. not what? Let, calm, let your pride down. I'm saying, like, let stop your pride saying I'm down. forcing you to do things like that. What you do you want do. me to. Listen, look. This with you, man. All right. Let your pride not... down, dude. My like, pride been down. You, I want my family, I want my wife, okay. but I ain't forcing I you. I ain't forcing I said, you. Like, just, just stop, stop making, saying that. Just stop worrying it like stop I'm trying to make that. you jump. Well, then stop saying the scene Ashley. you want your wife. I do. Stop saying I do. that. I don't kind of feel bad. I feel bad. I don't need to touch you. Every time I talk to you. Bring your pride down. If you love me, show that. I've been trying to. Work for that. Quit trying to make it seem on camera like you just this big macho man. You up. You gotta try to beg to get your family back or do what's right. Don is lucky that I'm even considering getting back with him after all the that he put me through. I feel like he don't even respect me enough to let me take the decision in my own time. He can't let his pride down. Obviously, I got look like I'm begging to get shot down. Yes, you do gotta beg your wife. Because if you love me, all the you put me through, yes, you have to beg me, Don. Yes, mother beg me. I deserve that. It went sour, man. I should have never texted you. You did me dirty. All right. Way too many times, Don. You want to walk back over there? Um, not really. It's kind of awkward. You love some body. You do whatever it takes. If your ass mm. got a bag on one knee, mm. that's what the you have to do. I'm not doing because I up. I'm doing because I love you and I just want to do something nice. And high five. That's all you got to say. Don, I appreciate that. I just wasn't with the bad and the four. I wasn't with that. OK, I and want you to want me to do these things in your heart. And I want you to want to do these things. And that's why I respect what you said and I appreciate it. I don't need all these grand gestures. What I do need is a man that me and my kids can trust and rely on. That's what I really need. You crazy. You crazy. Nah. If I was crazy, I would have you crazy, slapped you in bro. the face with these nice little roses that I'm you gave. I'm trying to tell you, you crazy. But I'm not. I'm going to let you slide today. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hey, y'all. It's your boy, Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.